guys, this is Chris Adams from Ammo Flies, and today I'm going to show you how to build a small moon crab using the Streamer products and A-Rex hooks. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to my friend Jeff Volta, who showed me this technique, pictured here. Quite the mad dog, huh? Anyway, um, the technique's been going well, a few guys have been using it, um, picking up all sorts of flash species like Permit and Goldies, Tuskies, it's been going quite well, so I want to share it with you guys today. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the uh, materials that I'm using for this for this video. And uh, first of all, the first thing I'm using here is the uh, SA280 in A-Rex size 1. And that's going to suit these Streamer products, which are the big moon crab, carapace and skeletons. Um, also, for this, you're going to need a size 1 lead sinker, just an ordinary ball sinker. Uh, I'll run through in the description the um, the products that suit the stream out products that suit which size hook, and also the size sinker that suits that as well. First thing we're going to do right now is we're going to run through how to bash around that sinker to put it to fit, uh, to use it for the fly, and then we'll move on with the rest of the stuff. Okay, to get going, you're going to need these three things to start. You're going to need a hammer, a screwdriver and a ball sinker. Your hammer and your screwdriver doesn't need to have shit all over it, but it helps. Okay, so what we're first gonna do here is we're just gonna squash it down. You know, just go slowly. You don't want it too far, and you want it to be nice and, nice and even. Just about that right there. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do next, as you can see, is you're gonna wanna grab your screwdriver, and you're gonna want to just tap a small groove into it, the depth of the shank of your hook. And tap the other side. Just gonna clean that up. That's what you want. Just a nice little X in it like that. About, about yay deep. Okay, next thing we do is we're gonna flip it over because we need to put a groove in it for the, for the thread. This only needs to be really light, but just flip it straight over so it's in the opposite position to the X we just made. So again, just across the center. It's real light, don't have to be heavy this one, it's just for your thread. I'm just gonna use my just body weight to create a bit of more of a score across there on the edges. I'm not gonna want to hit it down at all. I missed that one. Oops, there you have it, so that's, that's essentially what we want across our shank. Okay, so we're going to put our ARX 280 size number one in the hook there, in the vise rather. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is get some glue and just smother that shank with a bit of glue. The whole reason for what we're about to do now is to stop the uh, shell from spinning around. You don't want any fish to close up the gate on the eat, particularly fish like Permit. They've got the crusher plates in there that can just basically just close it up by spinning the hook around. Put a nice bit of thread on there. Okay, so what you want to do now is get a shank. I've got a 25mm shank here. 
just gonna I like to just open up the loop and um, then I just like to cut the eye off okay so you want to put this over the top of the hook point essentially so just lash it on Couple of, uh, a couple of lashes just to put it in place and then you're going to want to trim it down. So to trim it down just grab one of your lead weights there that you already made. Okay, so we're just going to pop that on there just so we can measure what's going on there and I'm just going to grab my pliers. Hold on a minute. Might just have to bend this one out a bit. Actually, we can just spin it around there. Be careful cutting this stuff, it'll just fling everywhere. Okay, so now we've measured it. Just take it off. So that's what we've got there. Just going to lash that puppy on, so figure eights. Just your usual way you would lash that on, but just go over and beyond. Okay. Now, just finish your thread. As you can see, just, just in front of the the cross member there. Get that bit of stuff off there. Got stuff all over my vice. I'm going to pick up some. My bench is going to pick up some stuff here. Just make sure it's nice and straight there. Okay, nice and tight. You have to lash it on nice and tight. I'm going to get our glue again. Just going to put that on over the X. Just a nice, generous amount. Okay, so when we've got that stuck on now. So what we're going to do now is just try and start off lashing them on, lashing the over the top of the grooves that we put in earlier. Position that down, pull it down with the thread. Doesn't have to be pretty, just needs to be there to get it done. Just manipulate it around so it's nice and straight. And that's what we've got going on there. Not pretty, but it's not going to be seen. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so just going to finish your thread off there. We've finished that. Finish it off nice and tight. Trim your thread. Now we progress on to the crafting stage. So flip your, flip your fly over. You hook over rather, trim off any of the uh, extra shank that's sort of hanging out. Okay, so now we're going to get our, our legs. So I've already painted these. Okay, so that's what they are. Um, you got with these, they come with a with a groove down the middle that you can lash it on for it to sit underneath the shank. But we're going to put everything inside the gape. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So essentially. What we're gonna, what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to put some glue on the bench. I'm going to put it on the, on the inside. So one other thing you'll notice with these with these Streamart crab components is that one side is detailed. It's got all the uh, shapes of the carapace over the legs and stuff like that, and the other side doesn't. And I haven't paid too much attention. That's just completely flat. So that's going to be my underside. That's the bit that we're going to see from the top. Okay. So 
what we want to do is we want to on the underside coat you know the the center line there and over the legs with a bit of glue and I'm going to use this as a contact so I'm going to uh, put some glue on going to let it dry uh, I'm going to come back through the magic of editing and then I'm going to clamp it together when it's uh, basically uh, nearly dry so it acts as a contact that way it just works straight away so when you're doing that you're going to put the plenty of glue on both surfaces so we're talking over the sinker there now I'm putting as you can see a lot a lot of glue now I'm just using this product here I just get it from Officeworks uh, Yoohoo it's in opposite there on the screen there but just a clear um, flexible adhesive don't use uh, super glue super glue is um, is brittle unless there's a flexible super glue that I don't know about and there might be I'm not a glue expert but this is what I use uh, anything that's brittle is likely to just break and snap and lose its bond if it's flexible it's gonna be more durable that's for sure so that's what we're looking at there so I've got my hook on there got my sinker on pretty ugly with the wraps but you know just do what you gotta do to get it on um, and uh, I've got the top waiting for the glue so we're just gonna wait for that to dry now okay so our glue is touch dry now okay both sides just gonna want to make sure that you've got this right over the center and you can use that center line of that's on the product to be able to gauge that just make sure it's right at the top of the shank and just just press it down and you'll see it'll make it all skew if and all that sort of stuff it's not a big deal the carapace will fix that up okay you see what's going on there great now we do the same thing basically we're just uh, gonna basically coat the inside of that and the, across the legs with glue and I'm gonna do the same to the back of the carapace and then uh, we'll come, I'll come back and I'll put it together okay so legs are on glue is touch dry same with the back of the carapace there. Oh, there we go. Let's get there the light for you. So I haven't got any paint under that. And we're just going to put that on, lining up the center. And then just press it on. Make sure you put you can you can, at this point you can position the legs where you want them. Sorry about the hands all over the place, but it just needs to be done that way. At this point, the whole thing's pretty easy. We've uh, taken into consideration the, the, the keeling, the way it lands, all that sort of carry on at this stage. So now all we're going to be doing is just making it durable. We'll put some eyes on, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so there you have it. It's essentially... I'll just drop that camera down a bit there. Actually raise it up a bit there, sorry. There we go. Set a screen now. So that's what we're doing there. So you can sort of see it's pretty, it's pretty lumpy. That's what's going on underneath there. And what, what you really want to do is, you know, just have a good look around it. Make sure it's, everything's nice and nice and even. At this stage with that, with that glue, you can move everything around quite easily. Okay, so at this stage, what you're going to want to do is essentially let the glue dry. Let it cure, completely cure. Okay, I know this will take a bit of time, and we probably could do this with resin, but I think the best thing to do from my point of view is to just allow uh, the glue to completely dry. If we seal it up with resin about around the claws, the same way that it stays you know, perfect in a tube like that because it's sealed from air, all we're going to do is seal it from the air so we want the, the glue whatever glue you're using completely to cure if you're especially using a, a single pack glue like this that essentially will uh, uh, you know we have to cure aerobically you're going to want to expose it to the air so it cures okay so I've done one earlier it's going to take this one out of the vise
Okay, so this is one I've done earlier on in the day. Now the glue, the glue is cured for this. It doesn't move at all. I mean, it's flexible glue as you expect. The legs are flexible. Everything's going to move that way, but it's not going to not going to spin on the hook. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to want to do from this point is I use um, I use the Raids app Flex. Oh, we we'll get that in get that in frame there. Um, Obviously, it's written backwards because of the camera, but you have to trust me. That's Raise Out Flex. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to. So, if you can look down there, you can see in around the legs around there. I'm going to want to get the resin in all the way around the legs there as best as possible. And with all resin, resin work, you're just going to want to do it in, in layers, you know. You don't want to do it too thick. Something's not right at this point, you can position it because once it's set in the resin, she's not going anywhere. I have to hold mine in position for a small second. Just because it wasn't sitting perfectly straight. Alright, I'm going to go around and put the resin on around this and I'm just going to through the magic editing, speed this puppy up so you guys can see what's going. But all I'm doing is just building up around the base of the sinker, with the lead weight, with resin, all the way around, nice and evenly, with Raids App Flex. What I'll also do, you'll see when I speed it up, is that uh, essentially I'm going to come over the top of the over the top of the sinker as well, or the lead weight, whatever you want to call it. So now we're going to put some eyes on. Now these stream art crabs have slots inside the carapace in there and there uh, to put your mono eyes in if you want to. But yeah, you look at any moon crab, um, they don't really have eyes like that. They're sort of uh, well concealed. So what I like to do is I like to put, I like to build up the eyes with a little bit of resin. Just makes them look more realistic in, in my opinion. Okay, so. Just gonna start that. I just keep my light on. I just put it. Just get a little start. Just put a little tiny drop on there. Just hit it with the cure. Make sure they're in the right spot. And just there'll be a drip coming out of your end of your tube there. I'm gonna have to flip this up so I can get it done properly. Just keep touching. You barely need to squeeze it. Just just keep building a dot up. Okay, so you can start to see those dot, those lies there that I've built up there. Take your light off. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to get, I've got an ivory uh, Posca pen. Oh, there we go. So that you can use that pen to coat your whole crab quite easily. It's a paint pen. I actually paint mine with a with a plastic paint, a self priming plastic paint. But for this, I just it just seems to pop the eyes, uh, make them sort of stand out a lot better. Moon crabs don't have black eyes that I've seen. You can just Google it if you just look up moon crab online. You'll see a lot of variations. Very popular crab in the Southern Hemisphere, particularly in the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. Okay, so you can sort of see that marker just makes those eyes just pop a bit there. Okay, so what are we going to do with that? Just going to use a bit of bit of paint.
You could leave it at this point. I don't think the fish will really care. It's never going to flip over. But, you know, this is what I do to make them nice and neat. Just coat that coat that resin up you know, over the top of the sinker. I'm actually going to leave that, so I'm going to hit it with a bit more with a bit more of a torch while it's off, off air. I like to really cure it, but you can see it covers everything up quite nicely. Um, I'm going to get in around the legs. I'm going to coat that all the way around there, coat all that resin. It coats really well, but I'm going to have to, I want to hit that with a torch a little bit further. I might just do that and show you what it looks like covered up. There you have the underside there. There's the top. There's the underside. Now we've got a fly that's going to sink perfectly every time and look exactly what we want it to look like.